Democrats are now a step closer in getting the president's tax returns. New York lawmakers just passed a bill that would allow Congress to see President Trump's state tax returns, and the governor is expected to sign it. It will require the state tax commissioner to turn them over upon request by any of these congressional groups, the House Ways and Means Committee, the Senate Finance Committee, or the Joint Committee on Taxation. So, also today for the first time. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin went before lawmakers after his refusal to hand over the president's tax returns. He defended his decision, saying that he made it without the White House input. But that didn't keep members of the House Financial Services Committee from grilling him, not just about his refusal, but also a report out of The Washington Post where it details a draft memo inside the IRS, which is under Mnuchin, that contradicts him on the president's uh, tax returns. The memo said that the tax returns must be given to Congress unless the president opts to invoke executive privilege. Mnuchin told the House panel that he had not seen the memo until the Washington Post called him two days ago. You are aware, you are at least aware that the conclusion of that memo directly contradicts the conclusion that you're relying upon. No, I, I actually don't believe that's the case. The, the, that memo, I understand, is addressing a different issue and is not addressing the issue that we in the Department of Justice looked at. Who at the IRS would have made the decision not to run this memo up the chain? I have no idea. Are you going to plan to find that out? Uh, we're trying to find out who wrote the memo, where it came from, when it was, and why it wasn't distributed, yes. I, I will take a look at the, the memo. I had not seen it till this morning. We didn't receive it. It was in the Washington Post. It was mm -hmm. draft. So obviously, we'll take a look at it. Uh, to the extent it changes our analysis, for whatever reason, we would recognize that. Um, again, I think this is a very important issue. On this one request, we've been advised that there are different legal views, and this is why it will most likely go to the third branch of government. And if, if the third branch of government opines on Congress's right, then we would obviously supply the documents. Our issue is we want to make sure that, that the IRS is not weaponized for any party. Did you discuss the memorandum with anybody inside the White House, outside the White House, I'm referring to legal counsel, I'm no, referring to me, lawyers, I'm referring to advisors. Let, let me be clear. The only person I've discussed that memo with is my general counsel on the car ride over here who's sitting behind me. I okay. have not discussed that memo. Oh, and actually I did ask the commissioner whether he had seen that memo and he had not. All right, and so it's one thing for Mnuchin to say, hey, I didn't see the memo. It is another for him to not know the law. Right. If we take a step back, the law is very clear. It says shall turn over the, the tax returns for any American. And shall means must. And so there doesn't need to be a reason why Congress wants those tax requests. There are three committees in Congress that can get access to them. That's the way it works. And so the memo, interestingly enough, is completely consistent with the law mm -hmm. as it's written. And what's pretty amazing about this is what the Treasury Secretary is saying is that he doesn't think that Congress has a legitimate purpose in asking for the tax returns. But it's really important to note that's not the law and it's not his decision as to whether or not Congress has a legitimate reason. The law says Congress asks for any Americans tax returns, Congress gets those tax returns. Shall means must. Yes. What about on this um, getting the state, Trump's state taxes? If Congress is able to get those state taxes, Will that enable them to get the federal? So I think I think there's two things. One is sometimes in state tax returns, people I'd, people provide information about federal taxes, and so what's an interesting question is what we can learn from the state tax returns. It will be obviously that that will include his income. I mean, it will basically include a lot of things that are also in federal tax returns. So I think we'll learn a lot from state tax returns. The second piece is I believe that Congress is already entitled and that this will go to a court. You know, we can never predict what a court will do, but what a court should do is require that the Treasury Department turn over the federal returns. Great. And Melga, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you.